In this video, I'll be showing you how to conduct a t-test in R. And so the first thing we're going to do is that we're going to simulate two sets of data. And so we're going to have the first group, which using the R norm function in R, R norm allows us to draw values from a normal distribution. So we'll be drawing 100 values that have a mean of 0 and a standard deviation of 1 for group 1. And so I'm going to run that. And here's just a look at some of the values. We're going to do the same for a second group group 2. And so if we were to plot these two groups, you'll see right here we see that these two distributions are roughly identical. So I'm going to just run it one more time, which is just a stochastic. Um, so here's another two groups of 100 values. You see how these two distributions look roughly the same. And so we expect a t-test to not be significant. And so the function we'll use in order to conduct the t-test is t.test, which is given here on line 11. And so if we were to run that, you see the output right here. And so what we see is that the t-statistic is minus 1.234, the degrees of freedom is 1.96.8, and the p-value is 0.2187. So the default option of the test is a, a two-tail test, and so we don't need to do anything to this value right here, and you see that because the p-value is 0.21, it's greater than 0.05, and so this test is not significant. And so it also gives us the mean of group 1, which if we were to take the mean of group 1, you see that it, it's the same point, it's minus 0.17, and then the mean of group 2 is right here. You see it's the same value here, mean of y. And so this is giving us the expected output for two groups that are not statistically different. Now, what if we were to generate data such that the two groups, groups are actually different? And so I'm going to go ahead and do that right here. All I'm going to do is change the mean. So for group 2, I'm going to change the mean to 5. Leave everything else the same. And so let's go ahead and run that. And then let's go ahead and remake this plot. And so you see now the top plot, the blue plot, is centered at 0, which is standard deviation of 1, whereas the bottom plot is centered at 5, with a standard deviation of 1. And so if we were to conduct the t-test right now, you see that the p-value is less than 2.2 times 10 to the minus 16. And the t-statistic is minus 37.68. And so as expected, the p-value is really low, way well below 0 0.05. And so we this basically means that these two groups are statistically different from one another. The group means are statistically different from each other. And so that's it. That's been a tutorial on how to conduct the t-test in R. Thanks for watching.